It was just last year that Fox 2 lost a member of the family. Photographer Rodney Ferguson died from sickle cell disease. In our Fox Focus report tonight, Mario Lu shows us what sickle cell disease is, what it does to the body, and how a brave little boy is trying to... It's a painful disease that seems to target specific ethnic groups, primarily African Americans. You're about to meet a brave young man who's enduring painful blood transfusions while his family waits for a cure. This is a story about a superhero. Not Spider-Man, Iron Man, or Batman. He's way stronger than them. This is KJ McKenzie and he's using his power to fight sickle cell anemia. Yes, You feel good? Yeah. Are you ready for your superhero power? Yeah. At just four years old, KJ has regular blood transfusions, clean new blood to fight the sickle cell disease and minimize his chance of a stroke. His mother calls this pack of blood her son's superpowers. He wants to show off his muscles. He wants to show you how fast he can run and how high he can jump. And, you know, when he's just a, a, new, a new kid when he comes home. How do you feel after you get your um, transfusion? Strong. You feel strong? Yeah. It's important to get our superhero powers, right? Really? Yes. Sickle cell disease changes healthy round red blood cells into crescent shaped cells like sickles. Round cells move freely through the blood veins carrying oxygen to every part of the body. But these sickle shaped cells can't get through, blocking blood flow to vital organs, muscles, tissues and bones, leading to a number of health complications and causing unimaginable pain. Yeah. It gets in the way of school, it gets in the way of dating, it gets in the way of social life. It's not easy. It's not easy at all, but it can be helped. Sickle cell is predominant, but not exclusive to African Americans. Long ago, it thrived in Central Africa, India, and parts of the Middle East and Europe. The sickle cell trait used to protect against malaria, and people who had it lived longer. But today, it's the opposite. Few with the disease live past 60 flare-ups can be debilitating. We describe it as he turned into like an alien. His, his his veins were pronounced. You can see it through his skin. He was very jaundiced. <laughs> One in 500 African-American children have the disease. In Hispanics, that number jumps to 1 in 36,000. One in every 12 African Americans carry the trait, which itself is harmless. But when two trait carriers, like KJ's parents, marry and have a child, their chances of having a baby with the full-blown disease increase dramatically to one in four. That's 25%. I just felt sorry and bad that I did this to my son. But, um, you know, then I got up and had to deal with it. <laughs> I knew that I had the trait, and he knew that he had the trait, but we just were prayerful that he didn't, you know, we, you know, he wouldn't get the disease, and he did. KJ's regular blood transfusions make him a candidate for a stem cell transplant. For now, that's the best possible cure, but doctors are testing new treatments every day. Not every sickle cell patient is eligible for the treatment, which includes chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant. The treatment is aggressive. You can get infection, you can get bleeding, and you can basically pass away from it. Oh, good. Oh, you blocked it. Yeah. Good. KJ will continue regular blood transfusions until his family decides he's old enough and strong enough to start chemo, the next phase in his treatment process. He's celebrating his fifth birthday this week, and there's only one party theme fit for this little guy. Oh, whoa. I tried from the finger. Yeah. I want, I want a movie. KJ can't transform into a healthy boy with the push of a button, but he's still 100% superhero. 
As for KJ, he's now officially five years old, celebrating his birthday Wednesday with family and, of course, a superhero birthday cake. His mother saved cord blood from her two younger sons, hoping it would one day be useful to doctors. We'd also like to dedicate this story to Rodney Ferguson, an unforgettable member of our Fox 2 family and the inspiration behind this story. Rodney passed away last year due to complications from sickle cell. He was just 50 years old. If you'd like to learn more about sickle cell anemia or would like information on how you can help kids like KJ, log on to our website, myfoxdetroit.com. I'm Marielle Liu for Fox 2 News.